fixing up the uh, three point that's been leaking down uh, on this tractor. It had a, just a couple more things to do. There's still an alternator issue I think I can live with. I think it's only using uh, one or two of the three, what appears to be three stator fields. But anyway, that's a whole other subject and video, but probably won't capture that one. But anyway, I want to talk about the three point today because uh, this thing was bleeding down overnight and I did one of these before and the reason the way I did it is uh, I just took off this whole three-point assembly which really isn't that hard <clears throat> but I got to thinking about it last time I was in there and I don't know if you can see it or not from this side but there's uh, the rod is connected on this end but it's free on the piston on this end it's just a more like a ball joint in there um, that pushes on the piston so the piston's free so really all you got to do is to pop off the cap which is here, um, and then try and get that piston out of there. The problem is, is when you push the arms down, the piston only comes up flush, so you still got to pull it out, and that's where it got difficult. I thought, as easy as it moves up and down in there, I thought I could grab a hold of it with a, a, a machinist uh, dial indicator type magnet, and that works, but it's just not strong enough to to get it past the uh, the top with that that ring. So, ended up using some vice grips on it probably not the best thing to do but it does work grab a hold of them on each side i kind of you can see i put a little indentation there on each side by wire wheel that's not terrible it's no worse than the than the uh scoring that's on the piston um but anyway uh, at first glance it looks like the uh the ring and the backup ring are actually in pretty good shape it's definitely uh they're definitely better than the one i pulled apart before that backup ring was mostly gone on that one but as you start to look a little bit closer at this, and I don't know, hopefully the camera picks it up, um, you can see how it kind of gets thin and flat. Uh, you can see where it's flattening out and kind of rolling maybe. So that's probably causing my issue. So we'll get those changed. Um, the backup rings, I think, a P50, so it's a 50 millimeter. I'm sorry, the, the main O-ring is a 50 millimeter and the backup ring is a P50A, I think. So they shouldn't, they're metric, they shouldn't be that hard to find, although I, I didn't find a bunch of them on Amazon or eBay, they might be like a special order. But they're cheap enough. Um, so anyway, new new main O-ring and then I can't get the, the original type of backup ring, which is more like a... Uh, well, you can see, yeah, you can see how... Yeah, that's getting destroyed, so um, still holding together, but I don't think that's quite how it was meant to be. So so those are my problems, um, but you can get these Teflon backup rings and it takes two of them to uh, make up the same thickness of that one. So you just cut them and, and, uh, and I just put them on there with the, the split halfway apart or 180 degrees apart from each other. So those, uh, those seem to work in the other tractor I did, so... Uh, anyway, just wanted to pass this along for the people who are having problems with their three-point. Um, if I did a bunch of these, I bet now that, you know, I'd probably, if this is going to be successful, I'd go ahead and do it again. Just pull the piston out the top, and probably some of them are probably going to come easier than others. But uh, I bet you could do this uh, well under an hour if, uh, if, if everything comes apart the way it should. So uh, just wanted to capture that and pass it along for you guys that are having bleed down issues on your three point. That's most likely where it is. And um, hopefully this helps you out in getting that fixed.